Hi everyone, this is me. In my last video, I mentioned that I just got back from my vacation in Bangkok, Thailand and I brought back with me 13 books. So 11 of these books are from the MXTX world and I've only looked at one because I wanted to save the rest for this video. So I've had a love affair with Thailand ever since I can remember and I've always loved the people and the language and the culture and the history. But this trip was kind of special because it's my first trip since I entered the MXTX fandom and therefore there was a whole other dimension. Now BL or Boys Love is known as Y in Thailand and I think this comes from the Japanese term Yaoi. So BL culture is very open in Thailand, particularly in the capital city, Bangkok. And you can see celebrity BL couples splashed everywhere on huge LED screens and in the media and on advertising all over the place. Now back to MXTX. So viewers on my channel will also know that my favorite MXTX novel without a doubt is Mo Tao Zu Shi. So The Untamed, the drama based on Mo Tao Zu Shi, has a very special place in Thai fans' hearts because the cast of The Untamed, including the two leads, Xiao Chan and Wang Yi Po, did their only overseas fan meeting in Bangkok, Thailand in September 2019. The rest of the fan meetings have only been held in China. So I vaguely remember that in late 2019, on my last visit, I did see some merch from The Untamed, but at the time I didn't know what it was about, so I didn't really pay attention. And this time, when I was searching for merch, there isn't really a lot because I think that phase has passed. But the books are still everywhere, thank goodness. So I visited six bookstores in total, some of them multiple times, because I was being very wishy-washy about whether I wanted to buy the books. I thought it was a little crazy, they were so heavy and I don't think I'll be able to read them in this lifetime. Until my husband said, look, you obviously want them, just go and buy them or you will regret it. Thank God for this man. I visited two branches of Nain Bookstore, which is a local Thai bookstore. The one in the mall next to my hotel was a really tiny little bookstore, but it had all the Mo Tao Tu Shu volumes. I also visited Nain in Siam Paragon, which is a lot bigger, and they had a rather large section of BL novels in Thai. I went to another Thai bookstore called B2S in Major Cineplex Rachayotin after I had dinner with my James Duryu fangirl friends and I spotted the bookstore because I saw an advert with my Thai idol James Duryu on it. So I went into the bookstore and I asked if they had Heaven Official's Blessing because I hadn't been able to find it yet and they didn't. But they had Mo Tao Tzu Shi and all 10 volumes of Er Ha or Dam Husky and his white cat Shi Zun. I didn't buy Er Ha either, but I did take pictures of the covers. Now I also went to Books Kino Kunia in Siam Paragon. And this time when I walked into the bookstore, the first thing that I saw were the English translations of the MXTX novels. Now I went back to Kino several times to look at the books, but also to take photographs and take videos. I try not to buy the books at Kino because I try to support the Thai businesses and it's also slightly more expensive in Kino. But Kino was full of MXTX stuff. They had Mo Tao Tzu Shi, um, Taiwanese edition box set. They had this box set which contains the extra chapters of the Taiwanese Mo Tao Tzu Shi version with some standees. Um, I bought it, but it's not a particularly interesting set. So I'll just flash a picture of what was inside the box somewhere up here. They also had the Taiwanese versions of Heaven Officials Blessing, Tian Guan Si Fu. They had the loose novels as well as the special box sets. They also had a little merch corner with Mo Tao Tzu Shi and Tian Guan Si Fu items, but I didn't buy any because they weren't particularly interesting and anyway, I can buy them for a lot cheaper on Taobao. I also looked at a section I had never paid attention to which was the BL manga section. Now they call it Yaoi and I know there are some problems with this terminology but you know, it's not me, it's what the bookstore called it. So anyway, I looked at a lot of the manga, they look so interesting and I saw many of the titles that I've heard people mention on live streams 
And in the end, I decided to buy only these two. So this is a series about two boys who go traveling around the world. And one of their first stops is Thailand, which I thought was at. And the series is called Our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide. I haven't started them yet. So if you've read them, let me know what you think in the comments. The section in Kino that interested me the most was the Thai translations of the MXTX novels and they were in a section again of BL novels and I was completely astounded by the range of titles that were available, many of which I didn't recognize, but I did see some that I did recognize. So all three MXTX novels, Mo Dao Zu Shi, uh, Tian Guan Zi Fu, and uh, Ren Zha Fan Pai, Zi Jiu Si Tong, uh, Scum Villain. I also found Er Ha, of course, and Tian Ya Ke, or The Wondrous Tale, which was the basis for Word of Honor. Now, as I mentioned before, I tried to buy Thai novels from Thai bookstores, but I hadn't successfully found uh, Tian Kuan Tzu Fu in any of the Thai bookstores. And then it happened that I took my mother and my aunt to Wang Lang Market, which is an area that has a lot of stores selling the most delicious street food and there are a lot of cute little shops selling all kinds of things. And then I came across the most charming little bookstore called Ran Nang Si Ton Sun or Ton Sun Bookstore. So I asked the lady, do you happen to have Sawan Kathan Pon? And she had all four volumes like what kind of luck did I have that day? So the Thai version of Heaven Officials Blessing has been published up to volume 4. I think in total there will be 8 books or 10 books. So I bought all four from her and you know I really love buying books from local vendors because it supports a local business and this little shop is one of those that still um, rents and sells books. And I carted my four books on a boat and on a train back to my hotel. So I also picked up volume 2 of Mo Dao Zu Shi, English translation. So I've started reading it. I'm a few pages in. I'm a little bit scared because I really didn't enjoy volume 1. And the first few pages seem fine. But I know that there's some drama on Twitter. We'll see how it goes. I will probably do a review of it when I get through reading a little bit more of it. These are Mo Dao Zu Shi. Look at this cover. It's absolutely stunning. Look at Wei Yuxian. So the finish is kind of a matte metallic. Very, very attractive. I really love these covers because I think they're kind of dark and mysterious and kind of hint that the story is pretty intense. It's so cute. The publishing house is called Bakery Publishing. So there are no illustrations in this book. It's just text. So if anyone is wondering, this is what Thai writing looks like. Volume 2, probably my favourite. Look at Lan Mang Ji. Isn't that amazing? Lan Chan, my man. More accurately, Wings Man. The third book is something that my YouTube friend Kikta would really like because it's got Jiang Cheng, who's not my favorite character, but she knows that. See, he's the most difficult to open, typical of Jiang Cheng. Okay, but this is stunning. Amazing, right? Book four. Oh, this totally breaks my heart. It's Wei Wuxian and A Yuan in Burial Mound. Book 5 with Jing Bong Yao looking very regal. You may not like him, but he looks good in this picture. And the last is a very slim volume with the extra chapters. My Thai is not good enough for me to read smart in Thai, so you know, I'm pretty safe. This has a really beautiful pink cover. Now, on to Heaven Officials Blessing. Oh, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And the image is replicated on the inside so you can see it very much more clearly here. There's also this image of Xie Lian and the butterflies. 
and this is the introductory panel. So I'm sure it says Sawan Gratan Pawn and Tianguan Sifu. I think this is a chapter divider. So this should be the Temple of Xianle. Not really sure because the words are in a font that I can't really read easily. And I think some of the words are from Pali Sanskrit, which are harder to read than, you know, regular modern Thai. Look at this illustration. And at the back, we have advertisements for other books. So this is for Renta Fan Pai, Zi Jiu Si Tou, or Scum Villain. And I did see Scum Villain Thai version in the bookstore, and I took some pictures of the covers, which are also very beautiful. Sha Po Lang, which is a priest novel, and I believe they've already filmed the live action drama, but you know, it's unlikely we're going to see it soon. Okay, on to volume two. Hold your breaths. Look at that. So here they are in Ghost City, and you know, Hua Cheng is teaching Xie Lian to roll the dice. And here we have the Crown Prince of Xian Le catching Hong Hong Er. This is the introductory cover and oh, so beautiful, a close-up of Xie Lian and Hong Hong Er. They've also got ads in the back, mostly the same. Oh, there's a very strange one called Ta Ma De Jian Gui Le. Ta Ma De is like a curse word and uh, it's like, you know, curse word. I saw a ghost. Never heard of this before. Volume 3. Even more beautiful that they seem to be in torrential rain. Xie Lian with the heavenly officials. And here is the introductory cover, which is also stunning. So the chapter dividers for this volume are Fang Xin and the mask. And here we have another gorgeous picture of Xie Lian. And there are other chapter dividers, which are the 3,000 lanterns. And the last one. Here is Hua Lian. And here's the image. <sighs> Look at this! I'm gonna cry. It's so beautiful. I love everything that I bought and I really enjoyed my trip. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Till next time, take care and stay safe everyone. Bye!